features uh, we have here application of the uh, special products and factoring which I just discussed okay so number one we're going to factor all of this stuff given these expressions um, application first of rule number one uh, what's this rule number two number three number uh, yeah and number yeah anyway anyway later uh, <laughs> this one uh, this is application of rule number one. We're in like a twenty and plus a a twenty one. So what's the common? Okay. So here the question is like we are going to find the common if you are given with a, uh, if you are given with this or meet this kind of uh, question. Okay. So what's the common in a way? We have there e twenty. Okay. E twenty. Right. And then e twenty divided by e twenty that is one. Right. And then plus. E21 divided by E20 that is E1 or just E. Why like that? Because as you can as you can remember eh, the the loss of exponents when you're dividing you always have to deduct or subtract the exponents. Okay, so there you go. Uh, E20 uh, A20 divided by E20 that gives you one because it's E20 minus 20. 20 minus 20 is zero. A raised to zero or any number raised to zero is always equal to one. But uh, if you have the hard time of under, uh, in understanding this one, uh, try to go over first the loss of this of exponents which I uh, just uploaded. Okay, next, number two. Again, this one, it calls for the common stuff. So what's the common between 15 and 12? So we have three, right? Three. Okay, there you go. It's three. And then, uh, common between B7 and B4. We have B4, always the lowest uh, variable, I mean the variable with the lowest exponent, that's the common, okay? So we have B4, and then 15B7 divided by 3B4, 15 divided by 3, that is 5, and then B7 divided by B4, just subtract the exponent, so we have there B3, okay? Next one, uh, negative 12 divided by 3, that is minus 4, okay? And then B4 divided by B4, just... Uh, as is okay one okay so that's the the factor form now there you go next one number three this is the third i mean the 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 difference of two squares okay so in here we are going to have since we have the here 16 we're make we're going to express it in the exponential form of two so we have our x squared minus four squared because 16 is four squared or four times four and then y squared next one we're going to uh what's this uh have this one what because this is already difference of two squares so you can just have since two is the common exponent for both four and y you can just have like x squared minus four y and then parenthesis squared okay rule uh, loss of exponent again when this one understood one here so just multiply two and two so we have there the result of four two y two okay anyway and next one since this is already in difference of two square four you can just have like x plus four y and x minus 4y. Do you remember? When uh, difference of two squares, just copy one of them and then one must be plus or uh, one must be positive and the other one is negative. Okay? There you go. Next one. The same stuff with uh, number, uh, what's this? Uh, number 4, where this is uh, difference of two squares. Why? Because 49 is 7 squared and then w squared minus 5 squared because 25 is 5 times 5. And then this one common of exponent of 2, so that's 7w and 2 minus 5 squared. Now, this is in the form of difference of two squares already. So, we have there 7w plus 5 and 7w minus 5. Okay? There you go. One must be positive, one is negative. Just, uh, uh, that's it. Next, number uh, 5. Okay? Number 5 is just also the opposite of number three, numbers 3 and 4. So since this one is positive and negative, and then the same 2x4 and 2x and 4, so just square the first like 2x squared minus 4 squared, okay? So 2 squared is 4, and then x times x is squared minus 16. So this is the, because you have to square 2, 2 squared is 4, and then x squared, and then 4 squared is 4 times 4, that's 16 minus, okay? There you go. Next one. Uh, number six. This is also the same as three, four, and five. Okay, so a squared, a squared over nine minus one. Don't you know that? Uh, anyway, nine is three squared. Okay, so that's a squared 
over 3 squared minus 1 can also be expressed as square, okay? So 1 squared, right? Because it's 1 times 1, that will give you, uh, what says 1? Ah, negative 1 squared is different, it's not equal to negative 1 squared. Because this one, that means you include the negative sign in multiplying or in squaring the number. So it's like negative 1 times negative 1, that's 1, okay? Which is not equal to this one. The negative sign is not included in squaring the number, so we have there still 1, okay? So that's why they're not equal. Remember that, teachers. Okay, there you go. Uh, the common is 2, so we have a over 3 and then squared, okay? Loss of exponents again. Try to go over with that and then square. There you go. Now, since this one is difference of 2 squared na, we have a over 3 plus 1 and a over 3 minus 1. Plus and minus, okay? There you go. Next number 8, we have there p squared, the same as numbers, numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6. P squared minus 3Q minus 1, okay? Squared. Now, this one is going to be in difference of 2 squared, so we can have plus and minus. So, P plus uh, 3Q minus 1, and then, like this, P minus 3Q uh, minus 1, okay? There you go, so plus and minus. Or you can just have like P plus 3Q, it's okay, minus 1 times P minus 3Q plus 1. Just distribute the negative 1 here. This will po become positive 1 and negative 3q, okay? There you go. Next, number 9. Number 9 is application of the last two. We have there uh, 1 over 8 and then minus a21, okay? So there you go. 8 is what? 1 over 2 cubed because uh, 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, that's 1 in, okay? Or just 8 is 2 cubed and then 1 is 1 cubed. You can express it this way. Or you can have just like 1 cube and over 2 cube, okay? And then A7, uh, you express uh, A21 in exponential with the exponent of 3. Because 3 times 7, that is 21. Okay, so this one same. So what's 1 over 2? 3 minus A7, 3. Now it is difference of 2 cubes, right? So get 1, as I told you. 1 over 2 minus A7. Okay, and then square the first, one half times one half, that is one fourth, okay? Change the sign, multiply them, so that's a or one half, one half, a seven, and square the last, that is plus a fourteen. Squaring it, we'll just add this to seven and seven, okay? There you go, this is now the answer. Okay, last one, last number. We have 27, a six, b nine, Minus uh, plus 1 over 64. There you go. This one is like 3 cubed and then a 6 b 9 plus uh, 1 over 4 uh, 1 cubed 4 cubed. Okay, because uh, 64 is equal to 4 times 4 times 4 which is uh, 64 anyway. So this one you're going to express this one. This is like 3 3 a 2 and then 3 and then b 3 and 3 right because 2 times 3 is 6, and then b times 3, uh, 3 times 3, that is 9, okay? Plus 1 over 4, again, common, which is 3, put it out, okay? There you go. Now, common, put it out, so we have 3, a squared, b, 3, and then 3, plus 1 over 4, 3. Now, look at this. This is already in the sum of two cubes, right? Cube, cube. So we have there, you have to copy one for each. 3a squared, b, 3, plus 1 over 4, okay? Next one, square the first which is 3 times 3, 9, and then A4, B6, and then, how was this? Change the sign, multiply them, so that is 3 over 4, uh, A squared, B3, and then square the last, that is plus 1 over 16. There you go. This is now the answer of this uh, as a, a expressions or factored form of these expressions, okay? Now, if you have some questions, you can just comment your questions and suggestions below in the comment section and uh, yeah later on I'll be going to take videos of me uh, was this giving examples uh, more complex than this uh, with other uh, special products okay bye bye